Toronto travelers. Today we are in Balboa Park, San Diego, California. We're completing the Free Tuesday uh, Museum for Residents. So we're completing our Balboa Park tour video and you already seen the planes, you've already seen the trains, now you're about to see the automobiles. We're about to hit up the San Diego Automotive Museum. Like I said, right here in Balboa Park. The exhibits that they're offering right now are uh, a salute to the military. So we do, in San Diego, we have over uh, 200,000 veterans and more than 100,000 active duty. So it's pretty cool, I wanna check out that. Uh, museum and the different automobiles and transportation vehicles that they used during the time. They also have an exhibit for uh, motorcycles, so we should probably see some Harley Davidson and Indian motor Indian motorcycles here at the museum. And they also have uh, a few other exhibits, so I'm excited to see what they have. Let's go check out the vehicles from the past, present, and most likely the future. So let's go take a step inside and see what they have to offer. San Diego Auto Museum building. As you can see, it looks like a rel relatively small museum. It's cool, they have the California bear on top. And if you want information regarding the museum, there you go, sdautomuseum.org. Oh yeah, I believe they also have a lowrider exhibit too. So this is a good museum to attend if you are a uh, automobile and motorcycle Fan. As you can see, it is right next door to the Air and Space Museum where we already shot another video and you have the Comic-Con Museum right here. Yeah, as you can see, they have resident free day today. So let's go step inside and see the cool things that they have to offer. And let me go ahead and show my ID. guys so make sure you come in hours are from 10 to 4 last admission is 3 30. let's go ahead and show my id card to the wonderful lady that i'm a thank resident you. And you're gonna go in this door right here. all right thank you appreciate it sure. have a great day you too. thank you appreciate it All right, guys, it's cool. We're stepping in as you first step in. Here you go. They have the salute already to the San Diego troops right here to the right. That's such an awesome display. How you doing, brother? Man? Hey, pretty good. I wish I had my Hudson car still. It'd be looking good in here, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so you have a 1942 Willys MB Jeep. Here is the information regarding the vehicle, what it was used for in World War II. And this is what the Jeep look like. You have a gas tank and a tire, ammo box. You see it fits three people, US Navy. And it looked like it was part of the ship for USS Coronado. And then the Navy. This is probably one of the original hoods where they signed it. So all the, I bet that's the whole command uh, signed the hood as you can see they have the commander first sergeant different commanders and various ranking personnel signing it so salute to you guys salute to the san diego automotive museum for having this uh salute to san diego troops uh display here exhibition here at the museum and thank you for honoring us military and veterans folks especially since it is a big military town so i appreciate you and shout out yeah, as you can see, the 200,000 veterans, 140,000 active duty, military. Here is a 1964 Willys M38A1 Jeep. And the details regarding that. 
sorry for that glare. See, these are all manual uh, driven vehicles. Looks like it's a four seater, pretty much close to the same design as the other Jeep. Flag of the United States. It's awesome. So this is the one that was flown in Somalia. Okay, cool. And I like the beautiful uh, backdrop of downtown San Diego in the background. Right here you have the six different uh, logos of the military branches with the newest one being the Space Force. San Diego's uh, beautiful Balboa Park. Oh, look at that. that's cool. Man. A little scooter, 1969 Honda Z50 AK1, and that's the information regarding that. They have an old gasoline pump. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this looks like this is the entrance to the rest of the museum. Let's go ahead and continue. How you doing? Oh, look at this beautiful lowrider. Beautiful paint job. Two thousand five. Look at that. It's beautiful, baby. Clean. Uh, Indian motorcycle here, nineteen forty-eight. How you doing? It costs one thousand dollars with that side car. Oh, beautiful you can't find it on the website. Classes. Classes. Okay, right here is a 1909 International Model A car. Auto buggy. Imagine riding around one of these in the streets long time ago during the 1900s. Look at that beauty. The details. It's awesome. Here's some, here's some of the men of the Indian motorcycle. So he was the president and co-founder of the Indian Motorcycle Company, Mr. George and Hindi. 1947 Indian Chief. And that's the beauty right here. Classics. The 1941 Indian. Oh, that's awesome. We have a 1914 C3 Big Twin. You can see you have a driver and then a passenger. It reminds me kind of like the, sort of like the Jeepney in the Philippines. Here we have a 1924 Indian Chief. And a 1942 Army Model A 401. Imagine I'm gonna sit in that leather seat. Oh, that's awesome. Well, in this section is uh, the daredevils and actors who once rode and drove these various motorcycles. Yeah, but, and it's pretty cool. These displays have the uh, countries that they were originated in. So here's the Honda C100 Super Cab, which is this beauty right here. The Anne Margaret ride. Yeah, the 1976 Shadow Cycle, which is this one in the red, white, and blue. blue that uh, Viva Knievel once rode. And here's information regarding this. And here is from Japan in 1973 Honda that Steve McQueen uh, once 
road. It's gonna be clean. Here's on my Paul Newman Road. And you can see the vehicles from Czechoslovakia. And the detail of this vehicle as well. And this last one is the Kawasaki KX500 from Japan. Here's the information. We do have a kids corner here. Unfortunately, it is closed, but as you can see, they have games and entertainment for the kids if they get bored while visiting the museum. So on this side of the museum, we have a bootleggers uh, exhibit, and we have Steve here who is a volunteer or you work here? That's right. All right. Now, whatever I don't know, I make up. <laughs> All right, so fair anyway. enough. <laughs> Bootlegging goes back to prohibition because alcohol was uh, banned by the United States, but it didn't keep moonshiners from making their own alcoholic beverages, primarily in the South. Moonshiners needed somebody to get their drinks to these hideaway bars and so forth. So that's where the bootleggers came along. These guys hopped up their cars, put V8s in them. Some of these Fords have Cadillac engines, V8s. Beefed up the suspension, bigger tires, so that they could outrun the police <laughs> on the dirt roads where much most of this took place. And so anyway, we got a, a police car over this way that was always trying to catch these guys. But anyway, once prohibition was done away with, the bootleggers who had learned how to make their cars fast, that was the beginnings of NASCAR. Mm -hmm. And so there were first dirt racetracks that were built and uh, the, uh, then some other tracks and then a formal association that became NASCAR. And so anyway, even though these cars look nothing like the NASCARs today, correct. <laughs> this was the roots. That's so great. that's the story there. Thank you for sharing, and it's oh, good that because I found out something too that now thanks to the bootleggers that now that's why NASCAR is formed. So we can bang right. bim. And thank yep. you for sharing that information, Steve. I appreciate it. Oh sure. So yeah, thanks Steve for that wonderful information that he shared with us about the bootleggers and how it created with NASCAR. So here are some of the vehicles from that time. It was a 1936 Ford model pickup. Beautiful. And then we have a 1936 Ford model coupe. Huh? So how's your Spanish? Do you know what El Grito Loco means? It's cool how they have the uh, alcohol moonshine barrels in the back of this vehicle. That's awesome. A 1931 Ford Model A truck. Oh, look at that. And we have a racing car, 1966 Dodge Coronet. That beauty. Huh. I can tell this one definitely. Uh, can drive faster than the police cars. And here's the police car that Steve was mentioning to us. 1947 Ford police patrol car. And then here's like a model of the distillery pouring into the barrel. There you go guys, here's the Harley Davidson motorcycle section of the museum. Fat Boy 1997 Harley Davidson. Beautiful. I think Harley. Rather long. 1926, 1970, right here, this orange one, and 1981, 
Some, I've been with me. Just, yeah. some of these cars. Yeah, you have a little history of like, uh, Harley you know, Starter, the William so Harley and the Dancing Brothers, well, like, Walter and sure. Arthur built the first motorcycle, <laughs> Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 1903. And then you have pretty much the timeline you see on the back wall. The timeline. Including in 2019, the First electric vehicle of the Harley Davidson brand. I've seen a lot of funny videos of the car. Look at that inside. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, classic. It's this. It's a drop top zone. Convertible. Super clean. Wow. You got this side. You have the international motorcycles from various countries around the world. Let's go check it out. What they have. This one's from England in 1969. Martin Orlando. And this green one right here is a 1971. Orphan Commando as well from the UK. And we have another vehicle, so pretty much most of these vehicles right here I'm about to show you are from the United Kingdom. This is a 1938 Northern ES2 Saddleback 74 Triumph Trident 48 AMS. Philosophy. 27 Flying Scott or Flying Squirrel you can reach up to 90 miles per hour 1914 Rover Imperial TT 1951 Vincent mm. Fifty one. Oh. Another Vincent. Then we have a nineteen thirty five Rush. Nineteen thirty twelve BSA. Right. And this one right here is from Belgium, nineteen ten FN. This one is from France, the 1930 Tarot Corolla. Sorry for butchering it, LLP. This one is from Italy, 1928, Lucy Falcon. She'll have to learn how to drive the stick, so the dealer didn't know where to reverse it. In Japan, in 1973, Suzuki Apache. And so I just. And I went like this and I pushed it there and it went and rolled back and he said, oh, well, there's reverse. 1970 Kawasaki. And then he said, this one and right here, that's so right then hand. I put my foot down and he says, well, you got to go first gear once you get around, you know, and I got rolled back and I said, okay. So I got him first gear and he yeah. says, hey, you're doing this pretty one good. Is a he said, you have to remember 2004 the clutch. 2004 Honda, yes. Nick Hayden Special you Edition. Stick. And you know, and you roll back a little bit when you're um, on a hill. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys, a 1962 Chevy Corvette convertible. How beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. There's a two seater 1965 Ford Shelby Mustang. Mm -hmm. Chevy Impala. Beautiful. This 
cool the backdrop of you have the Belmont Park in the background, Mission Beach. Some more uh, fueling stations from back in the day. And over here you have the National Hot Rod Association. With, like various uh, trophies that are awarded. Don Prudhoe, the snake. The uniform that he wore. And more awards that he's won over the years. Yeah, won a lot of awards. So in this little section is a exhibit for the over 40 years that Nissan has had a design studio here in San Diego. And as you can see, they've designed the Nissan Pathfinder, the 2022 Nissan Frontier. A video of them designing it. Design realization is a between the virtual space and the physical properties that our customers are Beautiful selection of vehicles right here. Let's go check them out and see what town they are. Right here's a 1927 Ford Model T. Look at that engine. That is beautiful. Inside dual bucket seats. The gas tank right there and the storage compartment. The 1955 Knee Camp Roadster. This is from William Bill Knee Camp. Twenty-seven four custom concept of Roadster. That's cool. Another dual seater. This was a nineteen forty-six Delahi one thirty-five Euro. I like those wood doors, it's awesome. It gives it a unique look. And then the engine and the parts inside the engine. It's like a storage apartment is in the front. Probably the engine will get back and go we'll check it out. 1937 Ford feet. take a step back to the future with this 1981 DMC DeLorean that was featured in Back to the Future. Similar one to the one we saw at the time of the Yeah, it was Like those suicide butterfly doors. Awesome. Uh, 1982 Lamborghini Contach. P5000. Originally priced at 68000 
as of last year, it's 408,000 Lamborghinis. Beautiful. And then here you have another motorbike, a 2005 Big Dog Ridgeback. That is beautiful. Tools. Mercedes Benz. Awesome. It's possible all the racing vehicle. Five times. Uniform. Two fifty five Mercedes Benz, three hundred Tesla Gold. Look at that engine. <laughs> so, they actually have a shower and equipment and car for, built for camping that can hold water, stove. Cool. 1947. Like a hookah machine. So you can smoke some hookah while like driving. Both to the red lights and cops. This is about a million. As of last year, this is worth a million. People were giving us food in the car, all kinds of food. We have room for ourselves. And you have the sulfur, so the gas in the if back, cooking and the needs. Look, you forget about your tiredness. You know, there are people coming up, clapping, thumbs up, wants to shake your hands, to run and run the cars and everything. We, we couldn't do that, you know. It's just with something. Everybody get off the road. You know, it's a two-lane highway. Everybody get off the road. We're, we're used to uh, the speed bus. Yes. That's a good one. I'd like to see him change tires while it's running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? It's pretty impressive. <laughs> yes. We love those two. Mm, beautiful. And they have a back and a phone. Seating space to eat, outlet, and this looks like a driving path that they once took. So you can see that we're all the way into Mexico, all the way up to Alaska. A search and rescue vehicle. Jack, inside look. Take, see what it looks like on the other side. They have the sirens and a tire on the top, some horns. Firefighting uniform. The ODC, yeah. Okay. And some more search and rescue equipment that he would use. Looks like he has a gun right here too. We have a plank road. A 31 Ford model. It's a taxi. Oh, beautiful cars. Ladies and gentlemen. Watching. Here's a 1905 REO roundabout. And we have a 
Model T crank start. 1914 Ford Model T. Nineteen thirty six Ford model forty eight. Really spinning around. Mr. Rick Moreno, welcome home. Beautiful. Some information regarding that. I'm about to show you a sixty three Buick Riviera. And the owner is Jonathan Mercado. And this is the 63 Buick Riviera spinning right here. Look at that beauty. That clean paint job. That trunk space. And the music stops. The cabule inside. regarding his vehicle. And now here you have a 1938 Mercedes-Benz 540K Special Roadster. So a lot of these cars and vehicles are in motorcycle or car clubs. We have a low rider club, there's a lot of them here in San Diego. We have a 1913 Cadillac model. 35 passenger touring. Curtis Craft Roadster. Beautiful guys. Inside look, I like the A ball and the handle. Cool. There's a 59 MG Twin Cam Roadster. Alpha Romeo. That's something that James Bond would be. <laughs> something James Bond would be driving around in. That's beautiful. You know, and it used to blow me away because Mr. Shelby would sit down and his wife would set all the stuff out and sign. But I used to always get a kick of that. You know, like I say, for me, I would have liked the kids. And if I didn't work with the guy, I would have been the same way. Look at this lowrider motorcycle. I didn't even know that they made lowrider motorcycles. Look at the exhaust. One check that I have today. Beautiful guys. 1962 Shelby Road. Cool Mayan seat. Beautiful. Carol wrote it for an expense check to himself. So it was a 2000 Gilroy Indian Chief. And it has 24 karat gold uh, engravings and etchings on the bike. Uh, it looks like a low rider. Uh, another car club in San Diego. Move. 
There's the switches. The shift, the low rider. And this mural is a from the barrio of Logan Heights here in San Diego underneath the Coronado Bridge. They probably have a lot of lowrider events, I'm assuming. Check that out while we're here in San Diego. Or at least the barrio Logan. Beautiful car. Paint job. Get your inside look. Dice hanging. Cool mural. mural. And then to end the museum off before we get to the gift shop is a 1992 Dodge Viper. Cool. And we have a 66. Yeah, we have a 1966 Bizarini. This is from uh, Germany. Look at this. Beautiful. Two last motorcycles before we head to the gift shop. A 1967 Montgomery Ward Riverside. Here then you have a 1987 Ducati Paso 750. You can tell this is a really old one. Looks like a sort of like a bicycle, but the display is for some reason different. But Still is a beauty. And let's go ahead and run off the gift shop. Go to gift shop so you can get all your SD Auto Museum merchandise. They even have Hawaiian polo shirts, sweaters. So if you are a car fan, if you like model cars, you can make some purchases here. Different reading material. And Hot Wheels, two fifty each. All right, well, that was a really great tour of the San Diego Automotive Museum here in Balboa Park. That concludes the tour of the free days for San Diego residents and the tours of the Balboa Museums in this series in San Diego. I appreciate you all. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. God bless y'all. Much love. Peace.